Let's get the very first contestant on this stage right now for the main event comedy championship. I want y'all to give a very warm welcome for a very funny lady, Miss Amber Ritchie. Hey everybody, how are you? Good, I just came here from Atlanta. Um, that's where I live. Have you guys ever been to Atlanta? You like it? You like, yeah, I mean, I like it. I love getting my shit stolen every week. It's, it's, it's really great. Um, I was in Atlanta with my boyfriend not too long ago and I had my purse stolen, which somebody uh, broke into his car. They took a big boulder and smashed the window snatched my purse. I know this because the restaurant had security footage, but the footage is so poor quality. Like I can't really tell if it's like a man or a woman. I'm really excited for the gender reveal, to be honest with you. But uh, he takes this big boulder and he smashes the window and he's like going after it, grabs my purse, takes off. And I was like, wow, that's, that's a lot of work for exactly zero dollars. <laughs> But uh, yeah, my boyfriend was like, well, what if he takes your identity and tries to take a loan out using your social security or something? And I was like, if he can use my identity to take out a loan, I really hope he lets me know how he did that. Cause I sure can. Maybe we can co-sign on something together. Um, but originally I am from Alabama. I moved to Nashville. Um, a couple of years ago before I was in Atlanta and if you guys know that place is kind of like the bachelorette capital of the world You will be mentally assaulted by Shania Twain every time you leave the house So you can be like at a bar like at a place like this and you'll just hear it Coming over the speakers you'll hear dun, 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 dun. And all the white ladies they like look up and they're like oh it's a song it's our time <laughs> or you could be like in Whole Foods, you know, like getting like your groceries or something and you just hear it and you're just like, it takes over. You're just like, da, 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 da. or I could be at the gynecologist's office with my feet in the stirrups. Like, let's go girls. But I'm originally from Alabama, not too far from here. Um, my family's really white trash, so they always have. Thank you, thank you, I, I love it. Um, they always have the best drama. White trashy people always have good drama. It's always on Facebook, like the whole thing. And I love to get like a blanket and like a cup of tea and sit on my chair and just like look at my phone and see what Crystal Nicole thinks about her neighbor's kids getting taken away. Braxton, Jackson, and Tractor. And also, vaccines make you gay, apparently. <laughs> but uh, my family, we had some drama recently. Like, when do we not have drama? Um, my brother was arrested in Boaz for fighting at Midget Wrestling. And <laughs> he really didn't appreciate when my first question was to him, well, did you did you fight a midget? I, he's a very tall person, so I was very confused. Um, but he did not appreciate that question. It's fine. I mean, he was just like obviously not. And I'm like not obvious. That is a real thing that can really happen in the scenario you've laid out before me. So I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, but when you grow up white trash, the stuff that you see on Jackass is not that terribly crazy. You're just like, oh yeah, my cousin got his nipple bitten off by a gator. He got the other one bitten off by a possum. I don't know. <laughs> my boyfriend I was telling you about, he's also from Alabama. I, we always say that's why we're, we're fucked up. Um, but he, <laughs> but he um, is a dad, totally utilitarian. He always has a detailed weather forecast, no matter what. Like I could be going out with him, dressed like kind of slutty, like got my boobs out, like got some leg, and he's like, 
You know it's gonna be 48 degrees out with a 32% chance of rain. Better wear a jacket. <laughs> um, and when guys have kids, nothing grosses them out. He's been peed on, he's been shat on, he's been barfed on. In the triple digits, my little babies. <laughs> so I had an ex-boyfriend that would never go down like the tampon aisle with me at Target. I was just like, did you think that the tampons are gonna jump out of the box and snatch your dick off? <laughs> or that you're gonna start your period right here in the middle of Target? It is a mystery. But in order to not produce more laundry, my boyfriend also works out on his elliptical, butt ass naked, butt with shoes on. <laughs> and I work from home, so it's a little awkward at the water cooler. <laughs> Um, but I don't know if he's trying to seduce me. I think it's working. But anyway, thank you guys so much. My name is Amber. It's so good to see you guys. Give it up for Amber Richie. What? Come on.